time does that make? 20? 30? No, oh, we haven't reached the end of the trail yet. 20 more, Sergeant. Yeah, sort of afraid of. <laughs> yes, you're missing the, uh, the drama of Whitehall, eh? The high drama. <laughs> oh, missing my leg man, young Marriott. <laughs> Champion Walker. Well, eh? <laughs> Not too busy. Yeah. <laughs> With you in one moment, gentlemen. Proceedings having reached the ticklish stage just here. Feast your eyes, meanwhile, you won't be disappointed. The artful dodges you're wanting. The latest mood-built Anki Spanky. A bit of best broad talk, cut very serious. Whatever it is, we'll accommodate you. You're blessed the day you stepped in here. There's only one rule, that's up there. Something to suit all pockets, but no philanthropy. Can't say fairer than that, can I? I haven't been caught in the credit dodge before. Now then, stone me. It's the law. Correct. And Sergeant Cork too. Well, 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 we are on it today, aren't we? The Sergeant Cork. Sergeant Cork is here to assist me. Oh, well, it must be important if he's brought in. Oh, well, we've kitted out all sorts here. Who's buying and what's your fancy? We're not here to make a purchase, Kendrick. Oh, well, like that, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, you can go through my stocks and welcome. Like I said, there's all sorts here, but nothing dodgy, nothing devious. Oh, cloth, I can spell it a mile off. I won't have it, you see. I run my business fair, square and above board. This stuff's a dollar a yard in the market. Is it? Is it? Oh, they haven't got my overheads, have they? Another thing, service. You don't get service down there, you see. You recognise that. Uh, it's a waistcoat bun, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'd say. It's all for the waistcoat. Nice bit of work, too. You want me to match it, is that it? Have you fitted a waistcoat with a button like that? I might, I might not. It's hard to say. Well, think. Would there be a reward? No. Well, what's in it for me? For withholding information, there could be a penalty. Oh, that's nice. That's encouraging. You want a cup of tea? Well, I call that really turning the other cheek. Do huh? you? <laughs> well, as my dear old mum used to say, good manners cost nothing. Maggie, three teas. Please. Please. Oh. <laughs> Caught up with you at last, have they? I pay you to keep out, not to make jokes. Greetings. All right. I made a waistcoat with buttons like that. For whom? The local mash, of course. Who else? But it fly, boy. Most particular. So choosy. You know, I've got the largest stock of buttons east of Tower Bridge. But could I suit him? Oh, dear me, no. Signs of the zodiac, he has to have. Well. My dear old man used to say, the customer's always right. If he wants to chuck his money about, let him, as long as he chucks some of it in your direction. Well, who am I to argue with dear Mama? And the customer's name? Good, Mike Good. His uh, address? Oh, no, cash. He always paid cash. I'd no need of his address. A regular? Oh, since he was so high. Of course, now he's a man six, seven suits a year. Anybody got a match? Oh, here. You see, with some it's drink, and some it's women. Now, him, he had appetite for clothes ever since he was a boy. Vain as a peacock. Always has been. Uh, still, my dear old mum used to say, never look a gift horse, etc., etc. A few more like him, I wouldn't have to worry about my old age. Well, what does he do for a living? Oh, no. Now, that would be prying, you see. I never pry, not with my customers. All these years I've known him, I've never pried. Pass the time of day with him, swap a few jokes, that's all. Suits him, suits me. Are you it? holding anything for him now? A pair of trousers, sponge and press. He'll call? Said he'd look in today. Yeah. Wait, we'll wait. <coughs> well, please yourself. If you're going to nick him, don't do it in my shop. I've got a living to make. How much longer are you going to be without your stupid up? Well, well, well. Talk of the devil. There he is. You are in luck. A service, isn't it? No waiting. Come on, in there. Morning, Alfred. Uh, Excuse me, gentlemen, I won't keep you a moment. Well, 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 Mr. Good, Mr. Good, what a pleasant surprise. I told you I'd be in today, didn't I? You did, you did. Well, uh, are they ready? Oh, wouldn't keep you waiting, would I? Here we are. Good as new. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. How much? Half a dollar. A bob. What about my overheads? You're breaking my heart. But I had to mend your bottoms. Look, you can see for yourself. One of the tenor. Honestly, all frayed they were. Too the far. work I had to do. I was here to... 
two bob. I suppose that's your last word. That's only because I better go run on the cards. Yes. Go on like this, I should be paying you. Here. Hear about the stout party went into the doctor's. He said, oh, doctor, said, I've got a terrible pain in my tum-tum. Can you give me something for my liver? Do you know what the doctor gave him? A pound of onions. You've heard it. Who well, hasn't? You might have said. You know him? Sure. He came from Huddersfield originally. Doesn't work for living? Well, the story is that he's a wizard at cards. Yeah, it's a useful cover. Yes, we've got to be able to crack it this far. Look, if you're going to follow him, follow him. Don't give my shop a bad name. Oh, come on. What's this? Three teas. Yeah, Maggie. Chap went into the doctor's. And come out with a pound of onions. You told me that yesterday. Oh, have a cup of tea. Stop! 